Why, hello everyone, and welcome back to Bug Knight. It's side quest again. The real Hollow Knight begins now. So, now that we have gotten arguably the best ending of the game so far, maybe the only one we'll be able to get, now it's just down to the challenges, the real hard stuff. The tricky things, and today we are delivery bugs. Today we're going to deliver a flower from point A to point B. It's going to be hard, it's probably going to take several tries, hopefully this recording session won't be hours long, but we'll see. But we do have a plan. From this point on, I am doing as much preparation off camera as necessary. I'm looking stuff up, I'm watching other people's guides for fights, I'm doing anything possible to uh, like improve my chances of success, because uh, there's lots of challenges ahead, and they're all going to be hard now, and like looking stuff up is only going to make them a little easier. <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan. Anyway, today though, we're delivering a flower. Our job is to deliver the delicate flower from, hang on, from, yeah, where is it? It's a, bleh. oh, here we go. From here, in the resting grounds, all the way over to here, across the map in Queen's Garden. It's going to be very difficult because we can't get hit once. Any damage we take will cause the flower to break. In addition, we cannot ride stagways. That would make this way too easy. Uh, and the flower will break then. We also cannot use the uh, dream gate warp. That will also break the flower. We can ride trams, apparently. I, I found out that's true. So that's good. That gives us at least one slightly easier stretch right here. But uh, otherwise, we just got to go on foot and not get touched. So that's going to be pretty hard. But there are various things we can do and that I will do to make this a little bit easier. So here we go. This is the precepts of Bug Knight right here. This is how we're going to win this thing. Precept number one, dress for success. We are getting charmed out specifically for this challenge. So anything that has to do with healing faster or mitigating damage, anything like that, worthless because we can't get hit once. So we just need to plan for like, we just need to plan for never getting hit or avoiding taking damage of any kind. So what we got here is Grubberfly's Elegy, this is going to help us hit enemies from further away. It gives us that little beam when we uh, attack with our nail. That's going to help a little bit. Uh, Wayward Compass, just so we can know where we are. Uh, like, ideally, I guess if I had the whole map memorized like a pro, then I wouldn't need this. But frankly, this is a challenge where knowing where you are is kind of important. So we're going to keep that. Uh, the Balder Shell. Now, this uh, makes it to where when you're trying to focus and heal, which like we're not trying to heal, obviously, but when you do, this puts a protective shell around you so to protect you from a hit, which we could use in a pinch to try to stop from taking a hit. Uh, and we can use this even when we don't have soul, even when we're at full health, I think. So like this is a shield we can use as an, in a last ditch effort if need be. Uh, Spore Shroom. This makes it to where when we're trying to, to charge soul and heal, we emit a damaging cloud. So like this may help us to hit certain enemies that are otherwise a little hard or risky to reach. So another thing to kind of try to help us in a pinch. I think the Thorns of Agony pairs with this to make it like more damaging or have more range or something. I forget. Uh, or maybe it pairs with this one. The three of these together hopefully do something. I don't know. Nail Master's Glory is one I saw recommended. Not 100% sure how this one's going to help, if I'm honest. Uh, I guess I could charge up some hits to really try to take some enemies down, uh, some stronger enemies down, if in a pinch, I guess, but it... I don't know, I might swap this one out, because I don't think it's going to be that relevant to my strategy. But I'm also adding Long Nail. I know we've already got the uh, Grubberfly's allergy, allergy here, but uh, I still having a longer nail, I think, is still going to make me feel just a little bit safer. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, that's the uh, setup I got going right now. Hopefully that will do it for us. So, all right, Saluber, please. I'm trying to talk. So, uh, precept two, know your route. I have figured out our route, or rather I've looked up online someone's recommended route that looks very good to me. Uh, so we're gonna start here, obviously. Go down, through here, up, across, ride the tram, uh, from here down, uh, from here up to this little chunk, straight across, up again, 
We're going to take this little hidden path down into Fog Canyon, go down, go past the teacher's archives, up... No, 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 wait. Yep, my bad. Teacher's archives, down, across, and then just straight across, basically, to get down here to this room. That's the path we are going to take. And, uh, really the thing that's going to cause us the most problems on this route. Uh, there, there are some environmental hazards that are tough, but the thing that really is going to be a problem is the enemies. We got a lot of very, uh, difficult to navigate enemies on this route. Fortunately, there's a thing we can do for that. Which I guess leads us to the next precept, which is, uh, tilt the odds in your favor, I guess. So, it turns out that the way, like, the way that enemies respawn in this game is most of them won't respawn until you sit at a bench. So what we're gonna do, before we even start our run, we're gonna actually, hang on, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, get us toward the room where the, uh, or the thing, excuse me, where the, uh, destination is, which should be right about here. Yes, here we go. Ugh, boy. See, this is actually gonna be one of the most dangerous little stretches of all. Like, this little room right here might be the thing that ends a couple of runs right here at the very end, just because it's a little tricky to navigate if you're not just completely on your game. But anyway, this is where we're gonna be trying to get. But we're gonna start here, uh, because my plan is to go through our route backwards and basically kill every enemy from here to there so that on our way back, it's way safer. Not completely safe, but safer. Some enemies do respawn, like small fry stuff, like little aspids, uh, the little smaller umu jellyfish, uh, some little troubling things. Like, some of those will respawn. We're still gonna have to deal with those. But, like, the really scary stuff, like the, uh, the bigger jellyfish with the cores that chase you, the, uh, infected venge flies that are super aggressive, stuff like that, the mantis petras, like, they won't be a problem. They'll be gone. That's gonna make this a lot easier. Problem is, though, we can't rest at benches in order to take advantage of this. So, we're gonna have to make stops at hot springs and stuff like that to heal up, because as soon as we sit down, all that stuff respawns. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be the first thing we do. Starting here and heading back toward the beginning, so let's just kind of start doing that. This will give us a good preview of our route and a little bit of practice, even if it is going in reverse, technically. I think I can just do this little spot here with a uh, dash with the uh, Shade Soul charged. Yeah, because it's a little longer. So yeah, that should do it. I'll have to remember that for next time. So, let's just start heading back. Taking out enemies as we go. I guess, like, these little ones here, these respawn. There's not a whole lot of point in taking them out other than just to uh, recharge soul, I guess. Let's just go ahead and start healing up health a little bit. And letting ourselves recharge. So from here, down just a little. Ah, see this. This is the one mantis I think that we need to take out. I think it's the only mantis we should run into on our route. And so long as we don't rest at a bench, that one's not coming back. So, all right, straight across for a little while. This should be fine. This shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we can take this enemy out. They won't respawn. Which is good. Because they make me a little nervous. That one respawns. This one won't. Excuse me. Okay. So far, nothing too bad, right? Especially with a lot of these enemies uh, out of the picture. Hmm. Don't know if I need to clear these to make them be gone, but just in case. Okay. So... Yeah, this room is mostly okay. I don't think there's any real big threats here. Now this one will be a little tricky, but I can make it easier by taking this one out now. Let's just go ahead and take out all the big ones. I just don't even want to have to worry about it. On the return trip. Ow. And that's why. <laughs> oh yeah, so there's our balder shell. 
It doesn't come out instantly, so I can't, like, it can't be an oh crap button at the last second, but it, uh, it might save us in a pinch. There's a chance. And a chance is better than no chance, if I'm doing my math correctly. See, this room's a freebie. No enemies. That'll be a nice little breather. On the back half of this journey. Alright, these two need to go. Ow. These will be a slight problem, but not too bad. Actually, these will give us the benefit of recharging some soul, which will be great. Not for, uh, healing, obviously, but... Pretty good for, uh, if I need to cast some spells to kill something from a distance a little safer. Okay. Sneak under this one. Take that out. This little stretch here is gonna be a little dangerous, because we're gonna have to come, uh... We're gonna have to come downward. And just try not to accidentally land on something. Just gonna have to descend very carefully. I considered doing this whole, uh, clearing run off-camera, just to, uh, save you all the trouble, but I, I think it's kind of fun seeing the, uh, seeing a preview of the route we're about to take. Can't do anything about the Luma Flies, that's a shame, but, uh, they're not too bad, so long as we're careful. Everything's manageable, so long as we're careful. Only real problem is that we get no room for mistakes. One slip up and we're starting over. Alright, that's about it for Fog Canyon. Now we're heading up into Infected Crossroads, which... normally would be one of the scariest, uh... segments of the run. Because of these, like, uh... these things. Fortunately, these don't respawn, so that's a relief. There are some Aspids. Uh, smaller aspids that will respawn. These are a little scary. These are the things that would scare me most, so fortunately, they do not respawn. Thank goodness. Because that would be... real bad. Gonna have to watch out for little hazards like that. Uh, let's see. Okay. We're not far off from... there's a, uh... There is a hot tub about at the halfway point of this trip. Which is good, because we'll need it, probably. So, these aspids are going to respawn, so they could be a problem if we're not careful, because they spit. This guy won't, though. So thank goodness for that. Um, let's see, hot tub up here. Let's just go ahead and make a stop. Alright, this will get us back our, uh, grubberfly elegy as well, so thank goodness. But, there you go, see? Aspids are back. That's alright. I wish that the Grubberfly Elegy Beam was as strong as your nail is. It's a little bit weaker, so there's stuff that I can one-shot with the nail that takes two shots with this thing, but still, it is better than nothing, right? Yeah, let's just take care of all this non-respawning stuff. It scares me and I don't like it. Uh, let's see. Let me go upward, actually, because I think this is the direction I'm gonna... well... What direction am I going to go when I come through here? Probably not this way, huh? A little dangerous looking. Let's go this way. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Avenge fly plus everything else in here? Oof. No, thank you. All right, we good? All right, we're good. Okay. Now, I shouldn't need to go up there into that area, but I'm going to take that vent fly out anyway, because I don't want to take no chances. Bleh. Hate him. Get out. Chew. Good. So th the interesting thing about this challenge is usually none of these areas scare me at all. Like, I can eat a hit or two and heal up. No big deal. Just regular Hollow Knight play. Nothing to worry about. But as soon as you add in the stipulation that you can't take a single hit, suddenly, that changes the approach radically. <laughs> Careful. Okay. Let's go ahead and top off. 
so we can be getting some more soul here. Okay. Uh, well, that's right. Here we go down and under, and then uh, come back up to get to the tram. So, heading downward. Let's watch for any enemies at all that we can take out and help future us. Anybody? Alright. There's that. And I'm also leaving these, uh, because these, I think, don't reset until you rest at a bench either. So, like, I want to save as many of these as possible for the run in case I'm hurting for, uh, soul on the way. Ah, you. Get out. Okay. All right. We're definitely on the last third of this trip now, which is good. Uh, I don't think I should end up down here, but just in case. I'm gonna clear it out. No chances. All right, from here we go up toward the tram. Clear out this thing. Is there anything higher up I need to worry about? Eh, just in case. Okay. And then into the tram room. Call the tram. Thank you. Do not rest at the bench. Just ride. It will be super cool if I nail this whole thing first try. I'm not counting on it. <laughs> I'm expecting it may take at least two or three attempts. All right, I think this room is safe. I think there's nothing in here. This one's a freebie. This one I think is also free, so... This'll be nice and chill. I think the real challenge isn't actually gonna start until we get to the infected crossroads. Because down here there's only one enemy that's gonna cause us a problem, and it doesn't respawn. So, there you go. Taken care of. Uh, there's one up here. I should never go up there, but, you know, just in case. Let's, uh, take it out. Yeah. All done? Excellent. Okay. So, from here, smooth sailing. Just head up. And, yes. Okay. Here's where the quest starts. Awesome. So that's our trip. That's what our route's gonna be. Just reverse-wise, and with fewer enemies, hopefully. And actually, before we talk to the NPC, last precept of Bug Knight, plan for failure. So, in the event that we get hit and screw up and need to start this over again, rather than making the run all the way back here, or, and certainly rather than resting at a bench or anything to get our health back or whatever, let's just... Uh, try to remember what the button is. Button. Button. Uh, hold down. Okay. Down. Let's set a dream gate right here. There. So, if we screw up, we're just gonna warp right back here, not rest at a bench. Enemies won't respawn or anything, and we'll get another flower and we'll try again. So, uh, there we go. That is our game plan. I think we can do it. Get psyched. And get flower. Hello. Wouldst you perhaps attempt the journey to chase lover's grave again? I wouldst. Thank you. Then this new, sacred, one-of-its-kind flower Che shall give you. As Che warned before, it doest become precious as one's heart whilst held. 
if you were to get hurt again whilst carrying it, or did to attempt to ride those jostling transit beasts, this one too shall be destroyed. Though my faith in one has been challenged, my hopes are still with you, Limmer. <laughs> Listen, I'm doing my best. My little buggy best. All right, trip begins now. Let's be careful. Okay. I'm not doing a whole lot of dashing or charging ahead unnecessarily. Just slow and steady. Being careful. Uh, let's see. Is this the way to go up? Yes. All right. All right. All safe in here and in the next couple of rooms till the tram. So a nice easy start. Boy, this makes me happy that, uh, there are no invasions in Hollow Knight. Because you just know that anybody still playing Hollow Knight, if there was an online component, would be camping this path all the time. All right. We ride. Now then, now things actually do start getting just slightly challenging with enemies and such. But not as many, because we were careful and we planned ahead. We followed the precepts. All right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All good? All good. Uh, let's see. We need to go up from here. I need a little bit of soul, actually. Let's stop in. There we go. Awesome. Thank you. All right. I expect some small fry in here. Yep, there we go. No shoot. Only die. No shoot. Don't do a shoot. Okay. Okay. Now, upward. I'm guessing there will be one more. Nope. Cool. Okay. Now to avoid the environmental hazards. Okie dokie. This is all, like, very easy so far. I'm still extremely tense about it. <laughs> Okay, next room. Thank goodness that vent fly is not here anymore. All right, good. All right, got another aspid. Let's take care of it. Die, and you. Thank you. Uh, no need to stop at the hot tub. We are full up, so cool. Uh, next room over. Wait a minute. Uh. Get out. I don't think I need to go this way. I think that's a sign that I'm actually going in the wrong direction. So let's go this way. But yeah, that's why we have Grubber Fly's Elegy, so we can take stuff out from a safe distance. Okay. Uh, we need to go directly across. There are going to be some little falling stalactites, so watch out for those. And then across. All right. Let's just be careful. Uh, yeah, okay. Excuse me. Perfect. So tense. Okay, here we just drop down, swim under. And that's it for the crossroads. All right. That's one zone down. And two to go. So the big jellyfish are gone. The small ones persist. So let's just be uh, careful about it. Come on. There we go. Slide down carefully. Watch our jumps. And everything should be fine. 
Careful jumps. Let's see. Can I... Gotcha. <laughs> awesome. That's why we have the spore cloud. Now, let's see. Need to be sparing and using that, though, because... I don't get soul back from these, uh... These, uh, grubber fly slashes. So soul is a somewhat limited resource. I mean, I can still get him from hitting the, uh, enemies close enough for my actual nail to get him. It's just, uh, slightly riskier. And I am avoiding risk as much as possible right now. I'm sure you understand. Let's see. All right, we're almost at the bottom of this room. Oh, right. <laughs> it's safe to be an acid now. I forgot. Uh, okay. Boy, this was a lot scarier with the big ones in here. Let's just be meticulous. Cool. Let's see. Okay, yes, free room. Nice and easy. No biggie. And down a little. Okay, we're good. What about here? Yes. Okay, good. And then it's just swimming under these. Awesome. And that's it for Far Canyon. One more zone. But this one steps up the environmental hazards just a little, especially toward the end. And there'll be these little ones that take two shots, which is disappointing, but... So it goes. Okay. Uh, Alright, straight across for a little ways. Careful, careful. Okay. Uh, yeah. There we go. Good. No problems. We're doing all right. We are Bug Knight, and we will succeed. Let's see. Up, 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 and across. Good. All right. Let's take this one out. Cool. We are so close, y'all. We are so close. Just got to sneak through here. And not get hit by dangers. Come on. Come get me. I dare ya. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Just a few more jumps and we're there. Just got to be careful. Oh. Whew, okay. We're good. One more. Okay, we might have done it. We might have done it. Flower. Yay, we did it. First try. You're welcome. Here sleeps the traitor's child. All right. We did the thing. Now, let's head back and get our reward. Yeah! Bug night! Hello, guess what we did? Guess who's not a disappointment? It's me. Le Mer. Me? Le Mer, you've done this thing? Is it possible? This world's cruelty, I thought it overwhelming, but Le Mer, such great compassion, that she's love would know her partner's heart even aeon past. Is it that, Le Mer? Such grief can end? Che can end? Oh, and I, dear love, Che too can end. Ooh, look what we get. Yay! The final health mask thing. Yay, we did it. All right, that's awesome. We did a thing. So, one thing that I don't know from here, 
Uh, so, uh, and y'all have said as much in the comments, is that you can deliver those flowers to actually other NPCs in the world and get unique dialogue, which is really cool. I'm not interested in doing all of that. I think there is one additional ending, even, actually, that you can get by delivering one of these flowers to a different character. Now that that character's gone, which I, w I didn't know that was going to happen, that... It may be that that ending's not reachable, or maybe you can get these flowers now from... You know what, let me go and uh, run to the grave real fast and see if I can grab a flower from there. That's interesting. That'd be a thing to possibly do. Be right back with you. Okay, so let's see. Here sleeps the trader's child. And you can grab a flower from here. Awesome. Okay, that's great. So we can get more of them if we want them. So, cool. I, I, I am not going to take the time, I don't think, to run these flowers all over the map to all the characters that you can give them to. I think you can deliver one to the Elder in, uh, in, uh, up in, uh, Dirtmouth. I think there's some other characters too. I can't remember. Uh, it's, it's all stuff that can be looked up and that, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing. Anyway, I think let's go ahead and call that for today's episode. Uh, for tomorrow's... Well, right here, let's just go through our list of what stuff we have left to do again. We have... Huh, got a little bit of, like, a... <laughs> Z fighting... textures there. Fighting for which one <laughs> is layered over the other. So rare to see a graphical glitch in this game. Anyway. Uh, what do we got left? We got several dream bosses. We've got the Trial of Fools. And we've got God Home stuff. And actually, we have one other thing. Uh, Y'all said that there was a little hidden room in the White Palace that uh, is worth exploring at least a little bit. So maybe we'll uh, yeah, maybe we'll do a little bit of that to start tomorrow. Heck, why not? Uh, so yeah, tomorrow, White Palace maybe? Or Trial of Fools, one of the two. Y'all have yourselves a good one, and I'll see you then tomorrow for more challenges. More challenge night. Bug challenge. We'll... I'll figure out a good title. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!